Then let's solve this problem. Count the number of good notes. And while reading this, right, you feel this is the most standard problem, but it's a slight variation of the standard problem. So you can expect these type of problems in an interview. So before jumping into the video, I am hoping that you know BFS and DFS graph traversal algorithms. So if you don't know about that, please go and learn that. Then you can only solve this problem or else it will be very difficult to understand. So I recommend you to learn DFS, BFS and come back and read the question and try to solve the problem by yourself. So if you still unable to solve, then you can continue watching the complete video. Now first let's understand the problem clearly. There is an undirected tree with n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1, right? And rooted at node 0. He is saying that there is an undirected tree which is rooted at node 0. You are given a 2D integer array edges of length n minus 1 where edges of i is ai, bi indicates that there is an edge between node a and node b in a tree. Saying that he is giving the edge a and b, right? A node is a good if all the subtrees rooted at its children have the same size. What does it mean? Let's let's look into that. Let's look into that. We need to return the number of good nodes in a given tree. He's saying that we need to return the number of good nodes, right? A subtree of a tree name is a tree consisting of tree name and it's all its descendants, right? So let's understand this. A good node is a node is a good if all the subtrees rooted its at its children have the same size. That means now consider you are at this node. You have you don't have any subtrees, right? You don't have any subtrees. So it is my good node. You are at this position. If you see there are no subtrees, yes, it's my good node. If you see two, left child has one child, right has one child, so it's a good node. Same thing, good node, good node, one child, one child, good node. And here total one, two, three. I have three three nodes. Here I have three nodes. So it's child. All the child nodes should be equal, then he is saying that that is a good node. That is a good node. Now let us see this example for better understanding. Now if you see these all leaf nodes are good nodes obviously right. And if you see here left child has one child and this right also has one child. Now if you see this node it has three nodes right. One, two, three. But it has only one. So it is not a good node. If you see this it has how many? One, two, three, four, five nodes right. Five and one. Not equal. Here 7 and 1 not equal. So how many good nodes have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 right. So this is a 6 is your answer. Now to solve this problem right uh, let us think let us think what I will do uh, first I will try to do B DFS I will try to do DFS standard DFS I will try to do. So what I will do is I will iterate and I will come to the child I will come to the child. I will, if it is a leaf node, if it is a leaf node, if it is a leaf node, I will return 1, I will return 1 and if it is a leaf node, there are no childs, right? So I can consider it to my answer. So I will increment my answer and next you are at 3, same thing, I will return 1, same thing, 4, I will return 1. When you are at 1, right, while when you are at 1, first you will receive 1, so I will store somewhere, some ht equals to 1. So if you are storing this one right, if you are storing this one, all other this ones should be equal like then you will get this one and you will check ht equals to my sum this k, k and this is also k, ht equals to k. If one of the child is not valid then I will say it is not a good node. So if in this case 1, 1, 1, this is a valid, ok 1 and how much I will return 1, 2, 3, 4, so I will return 4 here, so I will return 4. Now, now you are coming here you are coming 5 then you are coming 6 while iterating 7 and 8 you came till 8 and end at 8 there are no other nodes so you will say it is a good node then for 7 the size is 1 and only one node I have 1 right it is true for 6 it is 2 I will return 2 and at 6 I will return 3 and here I will return 4 including this node ok in this I have 1 2 3 good nodes and here 1 2 3 4 4 good nodes and here 4 good nodes now let us see this you came here and you are saying that you are at 11 and you here you will return 1 you will return 1 and at, at this position you have only one node so you will say it is a valid it is a good node and here I will return 2 
two, including this node. Now size, right? This two. Here you are returning one, and you are saying that these nodes both are not equal. So you'll say it's not a good node. It's not a good node. And finally, you will return two plus one, which is three, and including this node, which is one. So you will return four, right? Four. Now for zero, right? You will check all these three nodes. Four, four, four. All are equal. So I will say true. So this is also my good node. So finally, how many you got? You got twelve. So this is a simple iteration you follow. You will come here, and you will return. You will return. You will return. So how you will implement it? Think about. Think by yourself. Like how you can implement this. So I have shown you like how exactly the graph is traversed. So beyond that, uh, beyond that, yes, I can explain you with the code, but. Uh, if you are trying to code by yourself, right? You now you got the logic. Now if you know what are uh, returning, and what exactly you need to check. So if you know all these things, and if you are if you are coding by yourself, right? If in the future, like if you are thinking and if you are coding, and it's a good practice. Like you will improve your problem solving skills. You will think, and you will try to code. Think and code. In that way, you can improve. So I'm hoping that you have tried this for at least twenty minutes. The coding part. Yes, you need to try. In the beginning, you will struggle. Yes, for for the beautiful journey to have, you need to struggle. So now let's understand the coding part. Coding part. Now it's simple. Now it's simple. First thing I will do is edges, edges. These are all my edges, and I am using adjacency list. We are using vectors for dynamic sizing because if you are going with two uh, D, two D grid can also represent your map, but it's not recommended. Because the size is fixed there, but in adjacency list or in this, the size is varying. If we are having very less nodes, in this we are using every bit, everything we need to use one zero one zero. But in this, whatever required, I will use, and remaining I don't care, right? Okay, and it's simple. First, this is an undirected graph, so u v v u. Hmm, these are the edges, and answer equals to zero initially, and df is zero minus one, zero minus one. Zero is my node, right? This is my parent. Parent is minus one. Why I am doing that? So this is a standard, standard guys. If you are at this node, if you are having like this, now if you came to this node, right? If you are came to this node, and 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 you have more nodes towards this side also. You have more nodes. When you are at this node, this is an undirected graph. This is an undirected graph. So it will try to access the parent also because parent is already visited from parent only we came to child. So why I care about the parent again, right? So if it is equals to parent, I don't care. I will say I have pre-computed you. So for now I don't require you. So go down. Don't care about me. That's what we are doing. After coming here, we are checking neighbor equals to parent. Then continue because parent is already visited. Why I need to visit again? Int current size. So current size is something which will say. Which are number of nodes? Which are number of nodes? Current size equals to DFS of neighbor comma row. That means now suppose you have this grid. Suppose you are having this. Suppose you are at this position. If you are at this position, current node is current size describes. Now we are at this, and you came here. You came here. It will say how many nodes are there in this size. How many nodes are there in this whole subtree? That's what we are doing. DFS of neighbor comma node. If my subtree size equals to minus one, why we are saying minus one? In the initially the subtree size is not there, right? If you see here, uh, if you see this example, in the initial case, this is not four. So first I am taking it minus one. I am equating it with four, and all other remainings, right? All other remaining remaining nodes, remaining child nodes, I am equating with this four. That's why in the beginning I am checking if it is minus one. I am initializing subtree size is equal to current size. Now If my current size is not equal to subtree size after initializing, suppose if you are initializing this four and consider you are returning here three only, because three is not equal to four. That means this is not a good node. You can directly say right. That's why what I am doing here, I am saying is good equal to false. I am saying you are not good node. And here I am increase the total number of nodes. Why we are increasing total number of nodes? Because to send to the parent right. Suppose if you are at this position, here you got two, here you got one. And for zero, right? How many you need to return? You need to return this two plus you need to return this one, and including, including this nine node, right? Including that node. So that's why first we are calculating all the nodes, and while returning, we are incrementing total nodes plus one because 
you need to return the parent also right parent to is parent is parent and if we are checking if is good if uh, initially we are taking it as true so if every size is equal if we, this condition is not satisfying is good will always be true so is good is true then i will be doing answer plus plus so i think you have got it what exactly do we are doing in the coding part if you have any doubts any doubts in this question please comment it down i will try to help you now what will be the time complexity think about it what will be the time complexity i think you have thought so every time we are visiting only once we are visiting once and we are coming back visiting once and coming back so it will be order of n plus n mostly order of n plus n. visiting coming back visiting coming back and the size it's order of 10 power 5 maximum because you see a total number of nodes are 10 power 5 maximum 10 power 5 it can go adjacent the list can go up to the 10 power 5 length that's it and the time and space we have discussed so i think you have got like if you learned something new from this video uh, please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and i have created a whatsapp community where you can join i have given that whatsapp community in the description you can join and we will have the various discussions regarding the data structures and the lead code context so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye